Now, let's talk to Anthony Slamar, Risk Control Specialist at Northland Trucking Risk Control. And Anthony, welcome back to the show. Important topic today, pre-trip inspections. Yeah, hey, thanks for having me back again. It's it's always a pleasure to be here. So yeah, we're going to talk about pre-trip inspections, vehicle maintenance, that type of thing. Uh, really important subject uh, when we're talking about our overall fleet safety program, okay? Uh, we want to have a good fleet maintenance program, right? That's going to address uh, issues that we have with our vehicles. Um, and it's also, it's something that we uh, really want to emphasize to our drivers where it's there for their safety, right? And it's also something that helps uh, mitigate a lot of costs out there on the road. Another thing that this is related to is the issue of nuclear verdicts, right? So by having a good uh, maintenance program in our company, uh, we, we establish that we are not negligent, right? And how we take care of our vehicles and how we do our maintenance, how we do our inspections, that type of thing. So really, really important subject to talk about. Yeah, and I get a lot of these stories sent to me too. There's actually a very sad one that happened this week where an improperly loaded bulldozer fell off the side and killed a father and a daughter on a road. This is a very, very important topic. Now, we talk so much about tech though. Are telematics helping at all? Yeah, so definitely. So one thing that telematics is used for is definitely increasing the efficiency and the productivity of our fleets, right? Uh, so depending on your service provider, depending on what kind of packages you're paying for, um, these systems can provide diagnostic information on the vehicle uh, that can provide information on preventative maintenance. Uh, so if, for example, like when you need to do it, that type of thing. Um, so it's really trying to help address issues. It's making the company's management, company's ownership, uh, it's making their life a whole lot easier uh, to really kind of stay ahead of, of, of maintenance uh, issues before they become big, big issues, right? And also really uh, also assisting drivers with pre-trip inspections, that type of thing. What kind of like examples or incidents are you seeing where this lack of maintenance uh, has led to some serious accidents? Yeah, this this is a really good good thing to talk about. You know, keep in mind these DOT rules are there for you know our driver safety, the safety of other people on the road, right? Uh, couple couple things come to mind tires and brakes hugely important for keeping that vehicle under control right we want to make sure we have proper tread depth proper tire pressure wear and tear on the tire um, um, uh, brakes making sure our brakes are properly maintained these things are hugely important especially in the event of a crash right in the event of a hard braking event uh, or in the event of something we experience quite often uh, weather Okay, rain, snow, things like that helps keep our vehicle under control. Other things, too, that are really, really important are lamps, lights, reflectors. These help um, other motorists with spatial awareness. They also help other motorists know if you're having an emergency or if you're braking, things like that. And kind of related to the subject you, you just spoke about, uh, you know, cargo securement, load securement really important. Uh, you'd be surprised. A lot of companies have violations under vehicle maintenance for, for load securement violations. We want to make sure that these loads are, are properly secured, right? Um, because in the event of a hard braking event or in the event of a crash, um, you know, failure to have good load securement, it can cause additional damages or even injury. Now, I know this is like because it's hard to catch people who don't do pre-trips, but do you have like sort of any figures on how often like drivers are being lax about pre-checks or they're, they're just not getting done? Do we have like a ballpark on that? You know, no, we don't. But, you know, sometimes you can, there, there is no official study out there um, by what I've seen that's, that's shown what drivers are not doing, you know, good pre-trip inspections. But sometimes you can get in a, a pretty good indication by looking at safer scores, right? You can kind of look at trends, see what, see what a company might be having an issue with, or even seeing the, uh, see if there's a larger amount of violations, maybe seeing if there's a big variety of violations. You can kind of get a good idea from there. Um, but what we really want to emphasize is to our drivers with this, when it comes to this, is that uh, this is for their safety, right? It's for their safety as well as the safety of other motorists out there on the road. I, look, there's some people who just don't care, right? And they're, they're hard to reach. And there's some people who are like, it's 20 minutes. I'm already kind of late for the receiver's like, appointment. I'm already behind. There was a mm -hmm. weather event, and I just want to get moving. How do you get sort of these hard cases that rationalize the need to not do a pre-trip? 
Yeah. Hey, that, that's a really good question. So we want to emphasize that this does not take a significant amount of time, right? Um, what does what can take a significant amount of time is an out of service violation where you're taking off the road because of a maintenance issue, right? Uh, that's that's a significant amount of time, depending on this, you know, depending on how severe it is, right? Uh, but we really want to emphasize to our drivers, this doesn't take a significant amount of time. If you find an issue, let's get it fixed, right? Uh, because finding it on the front end uh, can potentially save a lot of money uh, down the road, right? Of course. And look, this leadership and culture play a lot into this, I have to imagine. What kind of messages do you have to trucking companies who really need to get this in order, especially if they feel like their drivers are cutting corners? Yeah. Um, so we want to emphasize that this is something that's designed to improve fleet safety, right? Mitigate crashes or even prevent crashes from occurring in the first place. It really helps keep costs under control too, because like I said, we want to find an issue before it becomes a major problem. Um, a lot of companies are, are doing something uh, now, such as doing additional uh, DOT inspections per year, sometimes four, right? Um, as well as making sure that their drivers are doing thorough inspections on those vehicles. Um, by what I've seen, it's had a pretty good, uh, it, it, companies have had really good success with that. They've, they've really reduced the amount of violations that they're, that they're having. Um, other things too, that can help out with, uh, with, with, uh, ensuring that this gets done is driver incentives, right? We want to look at how we can reward a driver uh, for getting a clean DOT inspection, right? Uh, most companies I run into have some sort of bonus where they where they issue a, a, a financial award uh, based on the level of DOT inspection that that they successfully completed, right? And these things are really important to kind of start developing that safety culture, right? Where people are uh, doing really good inspections on their vehicles, finding problems before they become worse, and uh, you know getting that maintenance done uh, beforehand again before it becomes a, a, a more significant issue out there on the road. Absolutely, these are our wife, our kids, our husbands. It's not just about your load; it's about everybody around. It's an important issue, and if you you, you unfortunately kill someone by negligence of your own or some issue, it's going to come down on you. Take this very, very seriously. How do people get more information from you? Yeah, so you can check us out on LinkedIn. We put out a lot of great information on the trucking industry. Uh, you can also check us out on our website at northlandins.com. That's northlandins.com. Uh, we have a lot of resources available there as well. Very, very cool. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by the show today. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for having me again. Take it easy. Have a good weekend.